Ever thought of running your own restaurant? I wouldn't really recommend it unless you enjoy running around all day and permanently smelling like food. But if it's an idea you'd like, try running it along with a couple of mates in Plate Up, a roguelike restaurant management game developed by It's Happening and published by Yogscast Games. Indeed, the Yogscast. Alone or with up to three others, you will run an establishment that goes as long as you can make it, provided not a single customer gets cross. Lose and it's game over, but it's not all for naught, because the experience will make your next restaurant all the more successful. Played Up is all about running a restaurant as perfectly as possible. Players will start off at HQ where they can dress up, practice dish making and set up their next restaurant chain by selecting a randomly generated map and recipe. You'll journey through 15 days of trials and tribulations as you prepare your selected recipe, ring up customers and try to keep your place as clean as possible. Everything you pick up needs to be placed on a table or a counter, which means you'll need to manage just about everything you do lest a customer up and leave, ending your run. It sounds simple enough until you'll find yourself stuck in piles of goo left behind by those nasty beings called customers, or when you find yourself out of dishes having to wash them all one by one as foods burn on the hob and customers tap their fingers in waiting. Alone, this sort of gameplay ends up feeling more of a chore than fun. But with your friends, Plate Up is an exercise in futility, potential aggravation, but it's also a lot of fun. I primarily played with my siblings and a bit of time alone and I vastly preferred the former, even with the roguelike aspects in play. Since each restaurant is different, swapping locations of ingredients and appliances are key to success. You'll learn how to best micromanage the details to quickly drop off plates of food and keep your place going. As the days go by, you'll pick up modifiers that can impact how you cook your dishes or add entirely new recipes to your menu, which forces you to adapt to the ever-increasing market changes. Blueprints will drop and you can buy useful equipment or store one of them you've yet to afford, and you can always cycle through another set if the ones that have dropped don't suit your needs. Adding furniture after picking up a restaurant focus can also pay more or keep customers patient, and more often than not, I found the latter far more useful. Cooking in this game is as easy as it gets. You have an interact and pick up button and that's all you need to cut, knead, mix and all the good stuff to get cooking. It's important to keep an eye on your hobs and ovens, but PlateUp's use of audio cues and visual indicators is really well done. When I burned something or when something caught fire, I could safely say it was my fault for getting my chores crossed, but I find that I enjoy PlateUp best when its recipes don't get too complicated. Mind, most of them aren't difficult per se, but some, like the steak and wine, had us opening the menu to check recipes multiple times during our playthroughs. Once you figure it out, you can run a whole place without even moving. More often than not, we've failed before we could even get to day 15, but the game will give you extra equipment that you can take with you into your next run. And if you recycle three of them, you can create a potentially more useful appliance. It's pretty addicting, and each time one of us said we'd stop playing, we'd end up jumping into another round of restauranting and accidental roleplay. You can save up to five restaurant runs, which is great if you want to hop into another session without ruining your perfect streak. Plate Up is bounds of fun if you're playing with friends or family. You'll be barking orders to one another before you even know it. And even if you fail, you find yourself starting another run in this fairly addicting cooking slash restaurant management roguelike. Yes, chef! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and if you really love what we do, head to patreon.com forward slash Xbox Era and pledge your support. We appreciate it. See you next time.